Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's Bakayoko. Just brushed off the ball there. Has he found his man? Koulibaly. Zielinski, and it's Mario Rui. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Done very well to intervene. Hoists it forward, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well positioned to make that interception. Lorenzo Insigne. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. And it's Mario Rui. Zielinski delivers the ball. It's Insigne! to get it forward quickly. Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. With a delicate ball, Zielinski provides an outlet. So who's he picking out? Bakayoko, and that's sprayed out wide. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. And it's been taken short. Insignia delivers. Okaka desperately wants to get on the end of this.
Mario Rui. And it's Mario Rui. dispatched there was no reaching that well I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out never mind one there was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And here's Okaka. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And no less. Steered forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Mertens. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period. Goes for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Koulibaly. Lorenzo Insignia. Nakayoko. Kings it out wide. Politano. Plenty waiting in the middle. Pumps it into the area. And he's cut it out. And the first half is done. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Napoli come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. There is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. Napoli carrying a one-goal lead. And it's played forward. Away from immediate danger. Mario Rui. Koulibaly. Zielinski. And it's Insignia. Finds himself eased off the ball. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead he looks... It's Mertens! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. Napoli are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Udinese are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Mm -hmm. 
Napoli take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Oh, sweet feet. Gets it back. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Pereira. Koulibaly with the clearance. Politano. Mario Rui. Koulibaly. Out to the right, Politano looks to get on the end of this. Koulibaly was not to be moved. Mario Rui loses his balance and loses the ball. And here's Llorente. Lorenzo Insigne. He's got away, fires it in low. As he found his man, well played, he saw that coming. Koulibaly. Mario Rui. Takes it over to the other flank. Going through. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Koulibaly into the last quarter of an hour. Manolas. Koulibaly. Bakayoko. Forward it goes. And it's Insigne. Insigne gets it out to the wing. Politano with the cross. Koulibaly. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. Looked like 3 0 for sure. Lorenzo and Senior should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. And it's played forward, and that has been cleared. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. to get it forward quickly. Pereira. Pereira is fouled. <laughs> Great reaction! Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Insigne attempts a clearance. Mertens. And it's Mertens. And that is that. Napoli will be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win, for which the players simply did enough.
your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Napoli simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.